My name is uh, Emori Katalau. I'm a senior pastor of Breakthrough Church in Newport. And i uh, been here for two years now. And very uh, amazing what God has done to my life and to the fellowship. Thank God for everything he had done. Now, my name is Paul Thomas. Uh, I'm also working at Breakthrough Church in Newport. Uh, I'm an evangelist, been overseas for some years, and I'm back in the UK. Righteousness is uh, <clears throat> is what God has done to you to make you stand righteous. What Jesus has done in the cross, that to give you righteousness. And uh, the righteousness word for righteousness in the Bible was first mentioned in Genesis 15, 6, when the, the angel came and told Abram to come out to look to the sky and say, this is how many... Get this kind of gener this generation, and it, the Bible say that uh, Abra Abraham believed that God, and he credited it to him as righteousness, just by faith. I think that Abraham got that righteousness, and I thought that righteousness is is something that you do between you and God, or God and you. Uh, righteousness is, as Pastor was saying, being in right standing with God. Uh, righteousness is. It's been in a place where we know we are right with God. Uh, if we know we are right with God, uh, then we can have confidence to do uh, the works of God. Mm -hmm. We have confidence to be uh, the men of God. Mm -hmm. We have confidence uh, to know that there's nothing between uh, me and God or us and God. Being in right standing, I think, is, is important because if, if we try to get right with God without him being right with us, then I think we end up by just trying to serve the law or try and be religious, trying to obey all the rules and regulations that we see, in, uh, especially in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. But if we know that Christ has become our righteousness, then to a point, or uh, maybe all the way, that frees me from trying to be a religious person because I receive of his righteousness and it's his righteousness that gives me the confidence to uh, <clears throat> live the Christian life. Mm. Righteousness, when we say about uh, Brother Paul, what he's saying about Jesus died in the cross to make us righteous and uh, he's dying on the cross. When, when he say that word, it's finished. He, he's done everything to make us faith will make us righteous to God but uh, mm. I believe that we got a part for us here yeah, he have done his part I, I can't see that he, he done it for us. We, we, we got a part to do Christ in us make a new creation in us mm. so when it's a new creation in us we have to do the same thing what Christ done or or what he would walk on the earth what he done Yes. So uh, that righteousness is a broad word. I think righteousness was planned from the beginning for for Jesus to come to come and die, so we can get that righteousness, come and stand right with God. I think so many, you know, you heard of people who go away from the faith, uh, friends, which we know, and I suppose most of us have friends who've gone away from the Lord. I think many people go away from God because. Uh, they simply feel they're not worthy enough or cannot do what God requires of them. We all know that God wants us to do the works of God, to go out there and mm. shake the world, if you like, or, or make a difference as believers, and which we, I guess, any true believer would be very passionate about. But I, I think that once we get back in, in the flesh and keep judging ourselves, uh, especially based on the Old Testament, keep judging ourselves and feeling, okay, I failed there and I failed here and I failed there and I failed yesterday and I, I failed last week and I failed today also. Mm -hmm. If we, we can build that sort of a negative mentality, a failure consciousness or sin consciousness, and I think there's a difference between a sin consciousness and a righteousness consciousness. And I... I one person said in, in the church the other day, she said, oh, I'm, I'm a sinner, I'm, I'm not good enough. Well, I think that, yes, we can only be good enough in Christ. 
He is our righteousness. Mm. We cannot be good of our own self. It's only in Christ can we be good enough, and then it's not our good enoughness. It's Christ's righteousness mm. that makes us good enough. He died for us, and you know we didn't die for ourselves. Mm. Yeah, we can go back to what uh, Brother Paul said about, about Christ. About Christ, some of us we condemn ourselves, but we mm. don't know that the righteous that God Jesus died for the cross is for us, Man. because He was born to take our sin away. And people they falling back, they blaming themselves. They couldn't see what Jesus have done in the cross for them. If that only we can see that. And open ours to see that what is done in the cross for us, for our righteousness, for making us right, make, make us faithful. Mm. And I think righteousness is something, it has to be a, a spirit thing in you. Because Jesus was born in, 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 in Jeremiah 23. If you go back to the Bible, it says Jeremiah 23, it, it says about that when someone's going to come and, and mm. I'm just going to just gonna read it to us and to just let, let us. Uh, if we see that, then, then we know that uh, Jeremiah 23, verse 5 says, The day will come, declare the Lord, when I will raise up to David's righteousness branch a king who is reign wisely, mm. wise and, 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 and do what is just the right in the land. And said, In the day Judah will be safe and Israel will, will live safely. This is the name by which he will be called the Lord of Righteousness. It say that he was talking about Jesus in Jeremiah. So when Jesus was born to take our sins, so he was righteous for us now. So I believe that if someone come and tell us about why he left God, what brother Paul said, for off God because of this sense, because that, that, that's a human sense. That's what yeah. human they say about that, you know. Right. Well, they say that we are my say, I can't come back. I'm so shy to come back to the church or so mm. come back to God, but they don't know that God has done that for them already. No, important of righteousness to you to know that Jesus died to make you righteous. Sometimes we try so hard to come and do a right to God. Make us we make us fall, make us to can't see that righteous that He made already for us, mm. and in faith, like what Abram done in in that when he went out, he saw the star, or no, so not David, Abram, mm. and saw the stars, and he said that just by f his faith made him so righteous, give the credit to be a righteous man. Right. So I think faith is something big too. If you have faith, that that great faith. To have faith that Jesus yes. died for your righteousness. Yes. Yeah? To give righteousness. I think that's amazing. Yeah? Amen. Amen. We can't be uh, right with God of our own on, ability, can we? On our flesh, you know? On ourselves. Yeah. yeah. You have to be in the spiritual for using this word righteous. Sometimes we use righteous to use it as a physical thing, you know? Mm. Just to do this, going to church, going, doing this and that. It, it, it's a good thing. But if you're just doing it for the flesh, you can't see the righteousness of God. No, no. no? no. Jesus, uh, God, he, he doesn't, he just doesn't see the outer prince. He see the heart. He see what's there. That righteous. I believe. I have believed by saying, if you have righteous you, in you, you can see this. God have gave it to you, you know. I like what you said, Pastor, about uh, <clears throat> about Abraham. It says in in um, Hebrews eleven. <clears throat> excuse me about those who. Who um, through acts of faith, yeah, uh, wrought acts of, of righteousness, yeah. Um, so somewhere it says, uh, through faith, Sarah received strength to conceive, uh, and was delivered of a child. Uh, through faith, Abraham, yeah, uh, when he was called to go out to a place, which he should after received for inheritance and obeyed, and he went out not knowing whither he went. Uh, and then it goes on to say how they done all these incredible things mm. uh, through acts of faith or, or acts of, of righteousness. righteousness. They, they, yeah. they wrought, wrought righteousness in verse 33, yeah. who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, and stopped the mouths of, of lions. 
So, so do you think it's like a faith and righteous connection there, isn't it? Yeah, I think Almost so. Of right. faith. Mm. Because you can't have this righteous that mm. Jesus got in the cross already for you if you don't have faith. I think you have to have faith yeah. to understand that that righteous Jesus gave you. If people are talking about righteous nowadays, they're talking about people that mm. their faith is not 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 big enough. So they talk about things that they have to build up their faith. So they, when their faith is stronger to know that that righteous have done for them, you know that righteous has been already yes provided provided for them provided for them yes. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, or on my or on the fallacy of breakthrough, there's, there's a couple there that went through something that uh, that I saw the faith that made them to do that. They they have that much faith they can do that. F from doing that, they saw that righteousness God have already provided for them. You know, in, in in that's why I said in, in having righteousness, receiving righteousness, you have to have that faith, the faith uh, God, the faith that of seeking God, the faith of knowing God. But when you have that faith in you, I think the righteous come together with it. And it's a, it's a level of faith you in, the level of righteous got to come. Because that righteous is provided to you when you died in the cross. So I think that well, those two couples, they went through this, the, the, uh, the, the thing they went through, and uh, the situation they went through, and they went through to, to overdue about month, month overdue, and everything was, people was panicking, the members of the church were panicking, it was panicking, but they got a faith in God Amen. that made them stand righteous to God, that the right righteous that God had given them, that they they stand firm on it to, to can do that. You know, then I, I, I saw that it, it really, really lift my faith, it really test me, I said, where is my faith in that level, you know? And I think when we talk about righteousness, I give an example of righteousness with someone around, you see the level of faith there. Mm. So people have, have a different level of faith, I think they have a different righteousness, because righteousness was provided to you to have. Yes, yes. I, I think that's a good illustration. I was thinking how people, when they get married, for example, they have somebody pray over them or they personally receive uh, a promise from the Lord and I was thinking in the context of this scripture here who obtain promises through faith and I think some couples very often or many couples actually go through a, a crisis in their lives where they know they've had a promise from God but, but somehow now they're in a, a contradictory place where there's contradictions you know and there may be conflict too but yet they know that they've had a promise from God. I think then, you know, a couples ought to get together, if you like, and realize, okay, we want to be right with God. Mm -hmm. And we want to be right with each other. And then that's where the faith kicks in, if you mm -hmm. like. We've got to have faith that God did tell us yeah. we're going to be successful. Yeah. We're going to be happy. Yeah. We're going to be contented. And we're going to make You're it. Right there. Especially yeah. pastor, as a pastor mm -hmm. in the church. Uh, I guess it's, this is also important, isn't it, for people to know we got to fight for the promises of God. Yeah. Mm. What God promised mm. us, we got to. It's not going to just come uh, through the door on a Sunday morning, is mm. it? We got to fight the, yeah. the fight of faith mm. to make our promises or God's promises a reality yeah. in our life. And, and yeah. uh, I see a sign of born again. You know, a born again <clears throat> is when well, you got born again your new heart he he start that righteousness with you over there as just a seed of that righteousness to that righteousness to be grown you have to your, your faith have to grow to make that righteousness grow bigger because if he died in the cross and he, he said that this righteousness is provided for you so it's there you know mm -hmm. as soon as you say yes to Jesus as soon as you say okay you say yes to Jesus, go baptize him that that righteous is you in you right right yes. there and the bigger that righteousness the bigger you're gonna you want to stand right with god it's up to your faith yes how bigger is your faith yes you know if your faith is not that big if, if you if, i read this i read this john first john 2 29 mm. he said if you know that he is righteous who knows everyone, 
who does what is right has, has been born to him. So when you're born to him, that's righteousness in you started. So people, mm. then you said, okay, I can try to do this, trying to do this. If you do anything in the flesh to stay righteous with God, it, it, it's going to end up with flesh doesn't last. No. You have to do it in the spiritual, in the spiritual, to, to make it last forever. Forever, yeah. yeah. Right. So I think that the, 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 the get, to give example of, 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 of righteousness, it has to be that faith, you know, Paul, you Yes. Know? That yeah. faith is the main, the big thing in, in that righteousness. Because people, you can't come and tell someone that doesn't believe in Jesus that the, your righteousness has been provided to you. No. He'll say, how? You know, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What I have to do? he said, no, it's provided to you. You right. have to have that faith yes. to understand that. That's right. And, and I, it's, it's through faith then that we like, do many things, isn't it? Obtain yeah. the promises. Yeah. And it's through faith. I think that's like a missing ingredient. Uh, number one, like you say, we have faith that we are right with God. Yeah. That's an act of faith that yeah. uh, <clears throat> through our own faith, Mm. Uh, we know we are right with God. It takes faith to know that, that we are mm, right with God. Yeah. Uh, it takes unbelief when a person feels they are condemned and guilty all the time, then that is an act of unbelief. But it does take faith to know that, yes, I am right with God. Although it might sound a bit cocky or whatever, yet it does, it, it is an act of faith. faith. Through faith, I do believe uh, that yes, I am right with God, and and uh, I believe that that must be so, too. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the tangent in his subject, but Oral Roberts, he, he built a, a city of faith. He was a, a man who, who, as a young man, he studied a lot. He couldn't. Um, he he felt well. How can God call me to do such a big thing? Yet I can't even talk. Yet he ended up by being the first, one of the first TV, if not the first evangelist to use the TV and uh, God used him to win millions of souls and, and build a city of faith. He talked He talked a lot, he, uh, he passed away a few months ago, mm. he talked a lot about seed faith and uh, I, I think that uh, yeah it takes faith to know that yeah I, you know I can't talk very good yet through I, I would trust God that God did call me uh, to do this great work mm. and I, I think righteousness and faith go together in, in all our lives. If you don't want to do anything great, we've got to have faith mm. and we've got to know that, you know, we're in right, right standing with mm. God, isn't it? I just read the scripture to us to uh, <clears throat> see that about faith and righteousness. It's in Phili 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 Philippines, Philippines mm -hmm. 4, uh, 3, 9. It says, And be found in him, not having a righteousness by my own had come from the law but that which uh, but that which in through faith in Christ the righteous that come from God and it by faith so it's talking about faith again and righteousness mm. that it come from God yes so you have to have faith faith yeah to understand this righteousness that we right. provided to you. Yes. Looking at the example of Jesus, he obeyed the Spirit, if you like, or obeyed the Father. And uh, when we look at the account when he was baptized, mm. he said, he made a statement, he said that, that this might be done to fulfill all righteousness. Mm. I, I think that it's our obedience, looking at that, I think it's therefore our obedience to the Lord. Mm. That helps us to know that yes, we are in right standing with God. Mm. Uh, the more we can obey God's word again by faith, because it takes faith uh, to to obey the things mm. that, that are commanded. Um, but as we obey the commandments of the Lord, uh, uh, whether it be Old or New Testament, I, I guess I know that's another discussion mm. there, but. We, we find certain things commanded in, in the New Testament. The apostles mm. went and uh, commanded the unbelievers to get born again and be mm. baptized, etc. Uh, if we can act on those commandments, even when we don't fully understand it, that will uh, help us grow in faith and grow in our faith. 
and therefore we can know we are in right standing with God. So whatever he commands you, mm. uh, uh, do it. Even when it contradicts your head, if you like, it contradicts your mind or you don't fully understand it. Mm. If, if God commands you to do something, obey him, and then you will know then that you are in right standing with God and then your faith uh, will grow. Mm. In, uh, if you think about increasing your righteousness or it won't really I think it only because it's already provided to you. Only thing to increase is your faith. When your faith increase, that I just said before that uh, what I believe, if your faith is is a small, you got a, just a small faith like those disciples. They've been with Jesus for so long, and the wind Jesus came to them. They said you have a little faith. If you got that little faith, your righteousness will be. You can't understand righteousness is a big, you, you, is a big subject, is a big picture. You'll understand righteousness is just a small thing to you. As soon mm. as your faith increase, and how your faith, the question we have to ask, how our faith can increase. Right. If our faith can increase, then you can understand this righteousness has been given to you. How this, how your faith, to how to increase your faith, you have to get a relationship with God. Mm. When you get a relationship with God, you'll understand what God wants. Like what Brother Paul said, to, to be obedient to God. You know, people say, oh, I can't, I can't. You can be obedient to God according to you, what faith you got. Because it's something when God talked to you and tell, God spoke to you and said to you, the, the, come here and or, or follow me and you're following a different step because you don't have faith in God. Mm, because you don't have faith right. in God to follow him that way. So if you have faith in God, your righteousness, your righteousness, you don't have to work for righteousness. Righteousness has already been there for yes, you. Yes, yes. So I think that in increasing, you think, you know what the question is like, I know the question, to increase your faith. I said, you can't increase it because the faith has already been there. But only thing you can increase is your, uh, increase your righteousness. Only thing you can increase is your faith. Yeah. If you yes, increase right, your faith, true, true. you'll understand the biggest righteousness that God has done in, in, Cal in Calvary for you and I. I meet someone and uh, the last thing I want to tell him about righteousness, mm. I'll tell him to get that relationship with God. The main thing is that relationship with God. I, and you know, I talked about a couple of Sundays ago, your relationship with God is, is how you're going to seek God. In a song with kids used to sing, you know, you read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. Hmm. And it, 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 it's not just a song, it, it, it's, a, it's a message for nowadays, you know, to see that righteousness that has been provided for you from God. I'll, I'll tell him to get that relationship, seek God more than anything else. When you seek God, he'll find him. When you find him, you know that you found him, he'll give you the faith of looking for him. And I think if I meet him, what, you, what, what we just spoke about in the lift, I just tell him, seek God more than anything else. What power in this world is seeking God? Yes, and I, that's, that's, that's true, seeking the Lord. And that's so important because we can't uh, have righteousness apart from a fellowship, if yeah. you like, isn't it? Um, so I would say, yes, part of being in right standing with God is to... Um, uh, but is to be in you know fellowship with one another, isn't it? I think the Bible says something like, uh, if if we have fellowship with one another, then the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. Mm -hmm. Which again, that means we're in we're in right standing with God. Amen. So Amen. having fellowship with one another uh, means that we can also have fellowship with the Father as well. Uh, we, we need both in order to be in right standing with God. In increasing your faith, increasing your faith make you to see that righteousness from God. You have to seek God. The most priority thing in this world to seek God. And for me it would be uh, having fellowship with one another. Uh, the scripture says and the blood, if we fellowship with one another, then the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us. Mm -hmm. From all sins. So having fellowship with one another is having fellowship with the Father. Amen.